high run <clears throat> Jefferson Hill once again uh, for the second video. Um, once again, it's a tremendous privilege for me being here. So in today's video, we are going to talk about bike lanes, right? So I just need to remember that I'm trying to overcome the plateau, you know, um, to achieve the maybe the C1 level in English. I'm going to try the same thing with French as well in order to improve it. And um, it's going to be a journey and that is very important for myself to, to get it, you know, the C1 level in English, uh, to be able to communicate, to be able to express myself with confidence and with a good vocabulary. And um, anyway, so I'm gonna use that material to help me in that journey. Let's go, bike lanes. Describe the picture, all right. Uh, in the background, I can see a city, you know, and uh, a lake a guy with a bicycle and the backpack. Yeah, a white t-shirt with the sunglasses. What else? Mm. But anyway, where do you think the man is going? I think that the man is going to work, you know, and he's enjoying the moment to work out. You know, I think that is a good option. Uh, why do you think the main cycling on the bike lane? I think that the main cycling on the bike lane because it's the place you use it for the bike. You know, it's more safe to, to cycling on the bike lane. I think that that is the reason why he's using the bike lane. You know, it's the best place for the person that, I, that is using a bike, bicycle. How do you think the man is feeling? I mean, I think that the man is feeling free, you know, and at the same time, feeling they are doing something good for his health, you know. That is the impression that I have. The second is light. All right. Are there any bike lanes or cycle path where do you live where you live? I live in a small city here, so usually um, most of the streets here that is not necessary to have it, you know. But we have a bike lane here in the square close to my house, you know. But we have two um I would say we have to, all right, so we have the bike lane in this square and we have the pedestrian lane, I could say that, you know, but the people don't respect, don't respect it. You know, the pedestrian use the bike lane and the bike lane, the people, uh, the people that is using the riding bicycle, they use the pedestrian lane you know, they, people don't respect it at, at all. Do you ever travel to school or work by bicycle? What does your journey look like? All right, so as I told, um, I live in a small city. It's possible to go to everywhere here walking on foot or by bicycle, whatever, you know. Um, Almost every day I go to, to work by bicycle. And um, it's about, let me see, it's about seven minutes, you know, by bicycle, it's very close to my house. And the, the journey, it's, you know, the journey, it's, it's normal, you know, there is no a landscape to see, you know, and it's not a dangerous street to use the bicycle here. Usually is that, you know. Why do you think the cyclist might need a special area for themselves when they are traveling? I think there is a question of security. You know, I think they use the, bi the bike lane or path or cycle path. It's, it's better to avoid an accident, you know, to, 
to be safe, you know, I think that is the, the main reason, you know. Do you think that people should be encouraged to travel more by bicycle? If so, how can they be encouraged? May I think that is a good option, you know, because um, we avoid the pollution and uh, we work out ourselves, you know, and um, depending on the the place you're gonna enjoy the, the landscape, you're gonna enjoy the nature, you know, the air. I think that is that is good for that, you know. We are gonna encourage it, the people, encourage the people to use more bicycle, saying that it's good for health. All right, so I think that is is very good for health, you know. What, what problems the cyclists face on roads that don't have a designated bike lane? All right, I think that is the risk of to, to be involved in an accident, you know, to die because of an accident or, you know, something like that, you know. I think that the problem is that because sometimes in the road, the the drivers don't respect a, a cyclist, you know. Of course, it depends on the the place, the country, the culture of the people. But yeah, should motorists be fined for using bike lanes? Of course, uh, all the drivers that is use the bike lane should be fined because. Um, they can cause an accident or kill a person with a car, you know, a truck. Of course, they need to be fined, you know. Should cyclists be fined for using the pavement when a bike lane is readily available? Of course, of course, you know, because the person that is using the, the bicycle is putting his life in danger in danger, he putting the, the the life of the, the driver in danger as well, you know. Um, once again, um, he, he could be involved in an accident, you know, and to bring some problems for the, the life of the driver and his life as well, you know. That is the reason that I think that they need to be find as well if they, the cyclists use the, the, the pavement or, you know, that's it for today.